further proof that we are heading towards a not just one world government, but a one world religion as well as religious leaders gathering in Sinai. That's right, the Mount Sinai area, just as it was spoke about in the Bible. But why are they gathering? So they can receive their new climate justice Ten Commandments. What is this all about? We'll get into it all in less than 10 seconds. First, guys, if you could, if YT lets you, try and hit that like button for me. Very important. Also, you please share the video. Help us get around those algorithms. Hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. And as always, if you guys can help donate here to my ministry to help support what I do, visit patreon.com slash conservative truth. That link down below in the description. So, yeah, here we go. This is all in conjunction here with the 27th. A Colombian pesos event taking place in Egypt. Well, centrally there, most of the activities are going to be going on there in Egypt, but they've moved a lot of the other um, parts of this, including one specific ceremony that I'll get to in a second, uh, here over to London. Although there's going to be events all over the world. They're encouraging everybody to participate in this event. So what is it all about? Of course, all we hear these days is everything about climate change, right? Well, you not have just business leaders, but you have religious leaders. You have thousands upon thousands that are going to be attendants for this to meet for the unveiling of the climate change 10 commandments or climate justice 10 commandments. <laughs> Talk about blasphemous, right? There are only one set of 10 commandments that the Bible speaks of. Nothing to do with no sort of climate justice. But this is an interfaith uh, sort of an event, ladies and gentlemen, where you have, well, specifically three main religions, Christianity, Judaism, and Islam, all joining forces together. Well, isn't that convenient that they're all gathering, especially with the majority of the activity taking place in the Sinai region there, in the Sinai Peninsula, to talk about what they can do here for climate justice and to bring this great change to the world. Now, a special ceremony that is being held for this. Um, it was held on Sunday, November 13th. And something as well that they encouraged local congregations, okay? Not just in the Christian churches, but also in synagogues and in the mosques around the world. So what exactly are they wanting them to do? I got more on that in a second. But first, guys, let me put a quick plug in here from my Patreon, if I can. This is the only way I have to let you guys know how you can help support my ministry. You can go to patreon.com slash conservative truth. You sign up there for five bucks a month. Now, here's the reason why you guys should help out the ministry. Well, for one, YT doesn't support anything I do. I get no monetization on this channel. But here's the other thing. If you only watch my videos through the YT alert system, you're missing a ton of content, okay? They are not going to let you know Every time new content comes out, but sign up on Patreon, you never miss a single video. Not only that, but you can leave your comments there completely censorship free. You can also send me direct messages. Okay. Again, that link is down below in the description or just go straight patreon.com slash conservative truth. You could sign up there for as little as five bucks a month. Um, it's a great blessing if you could help us out. And a big thank you to everybody who's already contributing there and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. So this ceremony that was held on Sunday, November 13th was a <laughs> climate repentance ceremony. That's right. No, this was not a ceremony for churches and mosques and synagogues to repent for their own sins, okay, against each other. No, no, no. Specifically, Sins against the environment because we are destroying the ecological system, ladies and gentlemen. And we must have this repentant ceremony to the earth to help us bring about the climate justice that we're looking for. And again, to establish the new Ten Commandments of Climate Justice. Now, this uh, whole uh, event is going on all the way through November the 18th. So we're going to find out, you know, very soon what exactly these new Ten Commandments are. But I will tell you this, that I believe strongly that in some way, whatever these end up being could very well be part that's going to be tied in 
with the one world religion. You have to understand that these people don't worship God. They worship the earth, okay? And this will all be tied in together. You will see this promoted by the false prophet who will assist the Antichrist, right? Which will eventually develop what? The beast system talked about in Revelation chapter 13. And what I heard one rabbi saying, look, it's not a coincidence. You take the main three, you know, religions of the world, Christianity, Judaism, and Islam, that will be the most prevalent during the last days. You get them all to come together as an interfaith coalition. We can all come together to help save the world and the planet. We can all repent to the earth for what we've done, the sins we've committed against it. This is exactly how it is going to unfold. And here's what this rabbi had to say. <laughs> because this is, this is enlightening. That if we can come together to make these changes with the implementation of our new Climate Justice Ten Commandments, then together we can manifest ourselves a new earth. <laughs> they want to create a new earth, ladies and gentlemen. Now, what does the Bible say about a new earth? Well, there will be a new earth, but not the one that this rabbi is talking about. No, 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 no. Jesus himself will help to usher in this new earth when he is ruling and reigning on the earth during the millennial reign of Christ. Now, some say it'll just be completely obliterated, the earth, you know, as well from everything that's going to be going on in the tribulation. And that could be, but I tend to think that Jesus is going to more or less renovate the earth. He's going to make it again, make it be more beautiful than it ever was from the beginning. Not necessarily start over with the new earth, but just remake the one that's, you know, it's going to be in the state that it is following the tribulation, but not the one that this rabbi speaks of here that they want to put together through their climate initiative. No, 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 no. That's not what they're talking about here. This is to help usher in their new world order. They want a new system, is what the rabbi said. He says, we cannot continue to go on with the current order that we have in place right now. <laughs> there is no mention of repentance of sin unto the Lord. None of that whatsoever. There was not one single mention made in the statements here by the rabbi of a need for this nation, not just America, but the entire world to call on the name of Jesus Christ to be saved. No, because they're not looking to Jesus as their savior. No, they're looking to somebody else. They're looking for a savior and no doubt they're looking for a Messiah. But that Messiah is not Jesus Christ. That will be the Antichrist who will be on this scene here very, very soon. And as you see chaos going on around the world right now, you see everything that's taking place in the United States with the midterm election fallout and that red wave not manifesting the way people said that it would. I was one of those ones that was sound the alarm from the beginning saying that it wasn't going to happen. And I was called crazy for it. You have to realize you cannot protest your way out of Bible prophecy that the end times must play out. It all must happen in order for Jesus to return. This is yet another step we are taking. Do you guys know that the Euphrates River has dried up as well? Just like the Bible said it would, because it has. Another sign. Not many talk about it, though. I got you too focused on other things. What's going on on TikTok, Instagram? What's Elon Musk doing? What's Kanye West doing? None of that matters. None of that matters at the end of the day. Pay attention to what's going on prophetically, because we're getting ready to wrap this thing up really, really soon. Now, speaking of wrapping up, I will have more information on this in the description for you guys to check out. I don't leave any video, I don't wrap up any video without giving people the opportunity to receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior. If that's you, you're watching right now, you're someone that has not yet accepted Christ into your life, I want to give you this opportunity right now. See, you're not going to be accepting, you don't want to be accepting any sort of a new Messiah or a new religion in your life. No, no, you don't need religion, you need a relationship. You need Jesus today. This is a prayer you can do in your own words, but... I will give you the steps that you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge you are a sinner. That's something that we all are. The good news is this. God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back into your old ways. No, it means to turn from sin. Those lifestyles, habits, patterns, behaviors, Things in your life that go against the word of God. 
If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he wipes your sin away. The Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, I'll have more information on this down below. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. Go to patreon.com slash conservative truth. It is a great blessing if you could help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.